So in this video, I'll be showing you how we can go from the base metahuman to the same character but with unique facial skin texturing. The results will speak for themselves. Metahumans have been around now for about three years, and it's allowed people to freely create lifelike characters in minutes. Although mesh to metahuman can allow us to get the correct facial shape, the generic skin textures always make it hard to draw comparisons between the metahuman and the person you're referencing it off of. To preface, this is going to be a custom workflow that we've established in-house. It's not the cheapest or maybe even the fastest method, but it's one that we've been most satisfied with the results. That being said, let's hop into it. So firstly, to create a custom character, we're going to need a reference video or 3D scan of our subject. Since I've always wanted a custom version of myself to tinker around with in games, I most graciously agreed to donate my face. We're going to utilize our full body photogrammetry rig to create the 3D model of me as all the photos go off at the same time, preventing motion blur. Pa, I will be the first one to tell you that this is overkill. You can use the LiveLink Face app for the MetaHuman Identity and Polycam or Reality Scan on your phone to get the texture. Epic put out a great video on using video to create a MetaHuman. I'll link it below. We take the photos through a program known as Reality Capture, where we align them to produce the 3D model and texture me with the photo data. From here, we export the model as an FBX. Over to Unreal, Make sure we enable the MetaHuman plugin, which you can install from Fab. Import our mesh with the corresponding texture from Reality Capture and create a MetaHuman identity. Open the identity file and add the mesh component we imported. Change the view mode to unlit here so we can see the textures as they were shot. Here we're going to want to designate a front frame by promoting it and enable auto tracking. Now just select a body size, solve the MetaHuman identity, and hit auto rig MetaHuman identity while selecting the option with full MetaHuman. This sends up our MetaHuman data to MetaHuman Creator, where we can apply further details. I'm just going to breeze through this MetaHuman creation as I'm just trying to best recreate myself using Epic's limited library of assets. Epic, if you're watching this, please come out with more MetaHuman updates soon. The system is great and could use more love. Alright, the next step is to download Bridge by Quixel. This can be accessed in Unreal to import MetaHumans, but we want the standalone desktop version for our purposes. In this version, we can download our custom MetaHuman files in high quality right onto our computers as opposed to them being U assets in Unreal. We're going to go ahead and download the MetaHuman we just made in 8K and also set the export for Maya. Unfortunately, Bridge only allows you to export directly to Maya. However, there is a workaround to get it into Blender by downloading your MetaHuman to your Unreal project, navigating to the facial mesh, and exporting it as an FBX. In Maya, we just want to select the head and export it as an OBJ file, as we're going to need it for this next step in RAP. Speaking of which, over to RAP. RAP will allow us to combine two models. In this case, we're going to take the model and shape of the metahuman head and combine it with the texture of our photogrammetry scan. This ensures that when we swap this texture to the metahuman head in Unreal After, it'll line up correctly. Since we're going to use the metahuman mouth and eyes, we can go ahead and hide the eye and tongue geometry. With that done, we're going to attach both models to a select point pair node, which allows us to select common points between the two models. Then, pipe that into a wrapping node to align and wrap the two models. Lastly, we just need to clean up the topology with the brush node, transfer the texture to an image, and export out both the texture and geometry as an FBX. So one problem with this exported texture is that it also includes the hair, part of the shirt, and bald cap I was wearing. We're going to need to edit that out using a photo manipulation software. In this case, I'm going to use Photoshop. Grab the MetaHuman facial texture, which can be easily found by opening Bridge, selecting your MetaHuman, hitting these three dots, and hitting Go to Files. Navigate through the files till you get to the maps on your MetaHuman export, and grab the head color map.tga image file. While you're here, also copy over the head roughness and head normal. In Photoshop, add the texture from wrap on a layer over the head color map, and set a soft eraser brush. Remember to keep a duplicate of each file in case anything goes wrong. Erase the parts of the image that aren't skin, hair, shirt, etc. The important parts are the face, forehead, and neck. The final results should look something like this. Now it's just about applying it to your MetaHuman in Unreal. In Unreal, head to Window, Quixel Bridge. Sign in and navigate to your My MetaHuman tab. Download your MetaHuman in high quality, then hit Add when the download finishes. You should now have a MetaHuman folder in your content browser. And within that folder should be a blueprint file with your assembled MetaHuman. Right click and create a new material inside the content browser. We're going to assemble a new material we want to put on our MetaHuman. For this, we're going to need our texture that we edited in Photoshop, 
as well as the roughness and normal map files from our MetaHuman that we copied earlier. Drag each of the texture files into the material window and connect our Photoshop texture edit to base color and the other two in their corresponding nodes, like this. Now inside our MetaHuman blueprint, select the face components on the left. Then on the right, scroll down till you see material elements 9, 10, and 11. Replace any or all of these with the material we created depending on your LOD settings. This will replace the face texture. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the before and after. Looking a lot better, looking a lot more like me. The next steps to get this even closer to resembling me will be to find or create new grooms to better match my eyebrows and hair. Let me know if that's a tutorial you guys would be interested in watching. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something from this and I'll see you guys next time.